Hi there, it's Dawn, coming to you on day seven of my detox and fast here in northern Thailand at the Spa Chiang Mai. And as you might be able to tell from my energy, I feel amazing. I feel lighter, I feel clearer. My, my mind feels incredibly clear and peaceful and my body is much lighter. I've lost about 13 pounds now and my skin is better. I just overall, I feel like I've come back to life. And I've decided because it's going so well that I'm going to extend this detox for three more days. So I'll have 10 days of fasting all together. Now this might sound extreme to you if you've never done it before, but I did a little bit of research to share with you. So first of all, the body, when the body, when you allow your body to fast, what happens is after about 36 hours of no solid food, your, your enzymes that are used primarily for digestion begin to take on a different mission. They go through the bloodstream, searching out and looking for toxins to destroy them, bring them out of the body that you expel through your, you know, through your urinary tract and through your back end. <laughs> So by allowing the body to not eat, now remember I'm getting lots of nutrition here uh, through, through the detox shakes, through the um, green drinks that I have every day, the coconut water, the broth soup. I'm not for lack of food or lack of nutrition. What I'm not doing is, is uh, making the digestive system work very much. And by doing that, I'm allowing my body to detoxify itself and then the colimas or colonics, if you were to do colonics, actually pull out all of that toxic material more quickly so your body doesn't have to do it itself. So there's a tremendous benefit to, to detoxing and it's best to do it for seven days because it's seven days you've cleaned out a lot of that colon area where little pockets may have been storing, I hate to say this, but yeah, putrid old food and stuff and toxins and even heavy metals for sometimes years, sometimes decades. So seven days really starts to get you to this place. It's, it's a good amount of time. My detoxes up until now have been seven days, but you can go even deeper. You can even access stuff that's very old and very lodged in some of those places if you go a little longer. So I checked with the doctor, my blood pressure's good, my tongue color's good, my eye color's good, my pulse is good so I can keep going for three more days. And the, oh yeah, the other thing I was gonna say is, um, it takes 40 days of fasting before your body kinda starts to eat itself. So there's by no means a risk here of my health. Now this being said, here's my CYA. I'm not a health practitioner, I'm not a nurse, I'm not a nutritionist, and I'm not a doctor. So, uh, even though I don't uh, prescribe to a lot of what Western medicine has to say about these things because they basically don't know, I do have to say this. Before you choose to do something like this, educate yourself and consult your doctor. In other words, take personal responsibility. This is something I've done. This is a personal choice on my part. I don't advocate it for anyone else, but I can say that it's made a huge difference in my life, huge difference in my health and my feeling of well-being. And all that yummy food that I miss, I'll get to eat it again. So, okay, uh, anything else? I think that's it for now. Um, if you have questions about what I'm doing or would like recommendations for places to look, to do your own research, to educate yourself, and take personally responsible choices about diet, nutrition, or fasting, or colonics, please just write me below. I would love to hear from you. And uh, I, other than that, uh, you'll hear from me again, probably when I'm breaking my fast, so you can learn a little bit about the importance of breaking the fast in the proper way. Over and out for now, and many blessings for you, that you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Mwah.